What is better than a 64 megapixel quad camera setup? A 108 megapixel Penta camera setup. But if you're not big into cameras, the Vivo S1 Pro might just be the device that you are looking for. Also, regarding the camera, the Redmi K30's camera bar might just be the weirdest camera I've ever seen. All of this and more on today's episode of Ichimi. The Xiaomi Mi Note 10 series is here. These are not just any smartphones because both of these smartphones come with a Penta camera setup that has a 108 megapixel main camera. There is the Mi Note 10 and the Mi Note 10 Pro. The main difference between the two is their RAM and storage configuration. And the Pro model also gets an 8P lens for its 108 megapixel main camera. The Mi Note 10 with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage is priced at 2,099 ringgit, while the Note 10 Pro that comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage is priced at 2,499 ringgit. If you are interested, both models will be on sale on the 7th of December 2019. Both devices will also be available online through Lazada, Shopee, and all Mi stores in Malaysia. If you don't need a smartphone that has a 108 megapixel main camera, the Vivo S1 Pro might pique your interest. It is only priced at 1,199 ringgit and it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, and it will be available this Saturday. There will also be an S1 Pro Super Day sales event on the same day at Central ICT with a lucky draw and limited rebate promotions. This smartphone has four cameras at the back, and for selfies, it has a 32 megapixel camera. Powering this device is a Snapdragon 665 processor, and it also has a 4,500 mAh battery. Well, here it is, the Redmi K30 series. And I have to say, the camera bump on this smartphone looks really, really weird. But design aside, the Redmi K30 will come with a quad camera setup. On the other teaser image, we get a clearer view of the right side which reveals a side-mounted fingerprint sensor that doubles up as a power button. From the looks of it, it appears that the Redmi K30 rear panel is using glass that comes with a matte finish. We also know that the Redmi K30 will run on MediaTek's Dimensity 1000 SoC which claims to be the first to support dual 5G SIM. Before 2019 comes to an end, Samsung will reveal its new Galaxy A devices for 2020. The global debut will be taking place in Vietnam and it is happening on the 12th of December 2019. From what we've seen so far, the new 2020 models will end with one in the model name. The successor to the Galaxy A50s is expected to be released as the A51, while the Galaxy A70s will be replaced by the Galaxy A71. And based on the teaser, Samsung has also confirmed that the new Galaxy A series will feature a center-aligned punch hole display which looks similar to the current Galaxy Note 10 series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And also click on the notification bell icon so as stay updated to our future videos. And remember to watch two of our videos right over here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!